Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to bring to you guys today's recipe. It is another awesome high growth oil that will help you regrow your bald spots, prevent hair loss. If you have thinner hair and you're looking to just give your hair thickness and volume, this oil is definitely the one that you want to make. So I'll suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps. Now let's hop right into it guys. So we're going to start with a quarter cup of fenugreek seeds. Now fenugreek seeds are extremely extremely beneficial for hair growth because it helps to prevent hair loss. Now it contains something called lecithin which acts as a natural emollient that condition and moisturizes your scalp and it also deeply helps to repair you know damaged uh, follicles. So really good at reviving damaged hair it fights dandruff which you don't want especially if you're trying to grow your hair it controls scalp inflammation it adds shine and soft textures to your hair so really really good to have in your regimen so after i added that guys i'm going in next with some fennel seeds now fennel seeds have something called acids it's got iron it's got copper folate and niacin which helps in, in increasing hair growth. Now, fennel seeds also helps in fighting oxidative stress, which prevents hair growth and leads to problems like hair fall. Um, so essentially using this regularly in your regimen can help to increase hair growth. So I added these two together, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this. I'm gonna add it to my grinder. And just make sure that you know it's properly grinded into a powder now i know some of you guys will be wondering if i have the powder can i just use it yes you can i prefer to get the seeds myself and just grind it because then i know it's not mixed with other stuff sometimes when you buy powders sometimes they mix it with other stuff to give it more weight um but yeah if you do have the powders feel free to use that Okay guys so once that's grinded um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like essentially so it just looks like a powder um, just like you know if you got the powder from the shop for example so I'm just going to put it into this bowl and set it aside while we work on our next ingredient now essentially this is a lot for what I'm actually going to need so I will be keeping some to use in the future now in the meantime guys I'm going to prep a bit of aloe vera now aloe vera is one of my favorite of all times really really good for hair growth for stopping hair loss um, yeah it's just got some amazing amazing um, benefits now i've talked about aloe vera on this channel for such a long time and if you've been working with me from the beginning you probably know already the benefits of aloe vera or probably have experienced it as well if you have been trying some of my recipes so essentially after i cut my aloe vera i just went ahead and i blended it i did not add any water guys because aloe vera already has water in it anyways so after i blended that this is what it looks like I'm just going to add it to this um, little frying pan. You can add it to a pot or whatever you have essentially. So I'm going to add that there and then I'll also go in with the two um, seeds that I blended earlier or sort of grinded earlier. Like I said before, I'm not using all of this because it's quite a lot. So I'm going to use only a table, about a tablespoon um, of this and then the rest I will keep to use um, next time I love to do this and just store because next time I want to use it's just easy essentially so now I'm going in here with some oil I'm using rapeseed oil uh, but feel free to use any other oil of your choice as long as you know it's going to be heat resistant um, so for the oil I'm using half a cup of um, rapeseed oil now i'm also going to go in here with a bit of coconut oil um, just because of its benefits now i know some of you guys say you're allergic to coconut oil and if you are it's okay to skip this process and just stick to the rapeseed oil essentially but if you're not then yeah go ahead and add a bit of coconut oil as well so we're going to pop this on the stove for about three to five minutes not a long time at all the moment it starts frying um you don't want to leave it there for too long essentially so just stir a little in between 
you know it's done when you know the whole thing is sort of turned slightly dark in color like this essentially so after that's done you just want to turn off the stove and then we're going to go ahead and strain it now while this is getting done guys if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it to have you as part of the family and also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching so far okay guys so once that's all done you just want to allow it to cool down because the oil is going to be very hot so you don't want to handle hot oil uh, because you can get burned so essentially after that's cooled down we're kind of ready to strain i just thought i'll show you what the color looked like so you can see it's all dark now so essentially um i will be straining just using a paper towel again for my kitchen this has been working for me so i'm just sticking to it um, but you can also use a coffee filter or um, a stocking cap or anything or wig cap maybe um, or anything else that you normally use to strain your DIY so it's very simple you just pour the mixture on there and just give it a gentle squeeze just to get the oil out Okay guys so this is our oil after it's been strained so I'm gonna go in next with a bit of Jamaican black castor oil uh, this is completely optional you don't have to use this if you don't have it um, but it's always nice to use it because castor oil has been known to help thicken the hair as well um, so I added about a teaspoon so not a lot really now I'm gonna I'm going in next with a bit of um, essential oils it's always great to have essential oils in your DIY oils just because they do that they help a lot with increasing the blood flow to the scalp which means more nutrients to your follicles and more opportunities for your hair to grow so it is really really good now i'm using tea tree and peppermint essential oils but it's okay to use any other essential oil of your choice it could be a lavender or rosemary or any other essential oils that you may have access to so essentially just stir that in nicely and that's it that's the oil nice and ready we're just going to go ahead and transfer it to this little jar that we can use and store and yeah it is pretty simple yet very effective so i do hope that you go ahead and give this a go now do not head off yet guys i'm going to show you how to use it in the next slide so make sure that you stick around Okay guys, so the way to use this is very, very simple. So essentially you just want to go ahead and apply that to your scalp or if you have bald areas that you're trying to regrow, then just go ahead and apply to that area. Um, or if your hair is naturally just thin and you're looking to give it volume, then apply everywhere, essentially, including the rest of your hair as well. Um, so essentially, after I've worked that through my scalp, my edges and all of that good stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and massage. So you just want to massage it really gently, um, you know just to stimulate the block flow to your scalp area and that's kind of pretty much it now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this i would say twice a week is a good time but obviously if you do feel the need to use it more often please feel free to do so um so yeah this is kind of pretty much it for me today thank you so much for watching guys if you made it to the end of the video i really appreciate it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one bye